Hello everyone, it's me, Sherelle Rose Green from Never A Dull Moment with Sherelle. So, what I want y'all to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn the post notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. Alright? And welcome back to Never a Dull Moment with Sherelle. So, I wanted was to talk about um, church hurt. Like, and the reason why I decided to talk about church hurt is because I was hurt by the church. Um, and I just wanted to talk about it. I want to send some message out there to the pastors. All right. Some of y'all are going to this church thing for the wrong reason. Some of y'all going there because of money. Some of y'all going there because you see where you can pay your, your buy your big house and your big cars. All right, your intentions wasn't to win souls. All right, some of y'all absorb your minds with hypocrisy. So if someone come to you and talk about somebody, you don't know the, for a fact if it's true, but you run with it. So pastors like you know, I have no respect for. Some of y'all love to judge people. All right. And you got to remember, you have to leave our judgment to the Lord, right? Some of y'all. And what I notice with these churches nowadays, it is like a puppy show. Not everybody, you know, you have. Yes, you have some good pastors out there. Don't get me wrong. But out of a hundred, maybe 30% of them really in it for the right reason. All right. A lot of witchcraft is in the churches. A lot of witchcraft among the ministers. Listen to me. I used to be a gospel singer, like go out and do gospel shows. And I know for a fact that there's a fight. There was a fight. You know, there's so much witchcraft among some of the ministers. Listen to what I said. I say some. Some of your hands are so dirty. I don't know what you're going to tell God say. All right. You guys need to break up your folly ground. You guys are running people from church. All right. Some of y'all are running people from church. So for instance, say a person just go sell her body now. And she found the nearest church after she sell her body. And she found the nearest church. Right. And she walk in the church. The first thing that some of y'all going to do is to talk about the, that person. Instead of welcoming her in your church. And if she want to testify, give her the mic to testify. Some of y'all ain't going to do it because y'all think that your microphone is your heaven. So some of y'all, you need to cut it out. And, and where I see most of this happening is in the Jamaican church. And, and, and I'm sorry to say, but I don't want to be in a church where it's just all Jamaicans. I'm sorry, because it's going to be chaos because if you have more talent than them or if the pastor use you more in the church, some jealousy is going to happen. Somebody's going to bring your name to the pastor and it's just back and forth, back and forth. So I don't want to be involved in a church that is only Jamaicans in that church because it's going to be chaos. It's going to be chaos. Witchcraft. Bad mind. Gossip. You understand? So and that's why a lot of people when they hear the word church, although the church is us, but when they hear the word church, them freed because we, the, 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 you Christians, the one, and that's why I'm afraid if you say Christian, the word Christian, because I don't want nobody to put me in a box. Christianity doesn't mean you can't, you can't sing little love songs or you have to make love to a, a, a amazing grace. No. There's a time and a place for everything. You can't make, you know, I'm not going to make love to amazing grace. Put on some sexual healing. Let's make love tonight. You understand? It's one or two holy. You understand me? Some of y'all just, just take this Christian thing to another level as if you, none of y'all ain't going to, I'm not going to be depressed because of none of y'all. I'm going to live my life because the Lord is watching your heart. A lot of y'all, you are on the outside. You are the part. But 
on the inside, you are a hot mess. So I'm telling you, churches, some of your pastors need to break up on the folly ground before it's too late. Some of your pastors need to get in the hands, wash down the hands full of witchcraft. Some of you need to come off of the pulpit and go down in the, in the, in, in the congregation because some of you are a hot mess. Some of you are not even talking to your children. Some of you are not even talking to your wives. You want to treat no wife like dog. But yet to not put and lay hands on people to pray for them. That's why I said I don't want everybody to pray for me. Not everybody can lay their hands and pray for Cheryl. Because some of y'all hands are dirty. Some of y'all hands are filthy. Okay? So when you see a person don't want to go to church, I understand. Because it's chaos. In these last days, although the Bible tell you about it anyway. You're going to have prophets rise up all over the place. You know what I'm saying? On the most top. Take God for mockery. You understand? That's why a lot of y'all ain't gonna like me. Because I speak facts. Okay? We're not too enough. Some of y'all don't. You, you, you think this pastor thing is a puppy show? You think this is Am Scott? Every turn you turn that church up in like legs. This is not an Am Scott. God is looking for true radical preachers. Some of not too. Uno to, uno to, holy. What about setting aside to talk to married couples? All y'all do prayer meeting, um, fasting, colic, tithes, all of that. What about the persons in your church that is married and struggling in their marriage? Set us a day that you talk about marriage and what you're supposed to do and how to rekindle your marriage up, you know, how to bring the sparks back in the relationship. Talk about sex. Talk about, no, 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 I do that because sex is the worst sin there is. That the sin they spell S-I-N-N-N-N, -N -N, the end cannot done. And that sex bring me here. You understand? So it's so sad to know that people are scared to go in the building because we are the church. And we are scared to go in the building because hypocrisy, because of what you hear about other persons. Stop judging people of their outside appearance. Stop judging them. Because I know a girl right now, she's a lesbian. She's rubbing crutches. And she's on your pulpit. And y'all don't have the eyes to see that that girl love to rub crutches. You understand me? But a girl like me, you know, we just come out and we just radical. We don't, don't like that. You understand me? Do I have to live up to your expectation for you to accept me in your church? Do I have to wear my hair a certain way? Do I have to have a lot of offering to throw in your offering plate? What I notice is that if you throw a lump sum of offering, you are recognized. Maybe you, maybe you even become an assistant pastor because you throw a thousand dollars every week or every month. A small person will throw them like a ten dollars because that's all they have to offer. They're not going to be recognized. They will never get a post in the church because they're, they're not throwing enough offering. You understand? And I totally believe that if you tied, you must get tied back in one of your members. You, you tie back in one of your member. You, sometimes some of your member in the church, light cut off. They can't pay the, the, the rent or their mortgage. They're in about to be foreclosed. None of y'all don't take the time out to find that out. All y'all want to stretch out your hands every day. Bring the offering plate around six times and, 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 and spiritually abusing your members. While some of the members don't live nowhere. Sometimes you can't hide in your back into your members. That's what y'all need to do. Okay? Tithing doesn't really mean that you have to give into church all the time. You can tie it into a person's ministry. You can tie it into a homeless shelter. You can tie it into a domestic violence shelter. No, 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 fool me. I know who God is. And none of you are going to tell me who's saved from who's not saved. You cannot look at a person and tell them saved or not. You cannot. Because they can look the part on the outside. But you see, the inside is a hot mess. The inside is devil and black. So when the, when the songwriter said, fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. You understand what I'm saying? He's talking about your heart. If you are dirty, there's no room for the Lord to fill that the cup, the baby. It's going to stay empty. You understand? I know what I'm talking about because I'm a pastor's child and I see what goes on in the body of Christ. Some of y'all vestries, y'all whorehouse. You understand? Right after some of y'all preach, y'all bring the one of the members of the vestry and that is y'all hotel for the night. 
Okay? I'm just going to speak. I, I, I've, I came across some wonderful pastors that I adore. They are, you can tell that nobody's perfect. But you can tell when they're in it for the right reason. I come come in contact with a lot of them. Because I could see you guys from a distance. That's why some of them don't like me. Stop judging people from the outside. You understand me? That's why I said, if I should ever say I'm open a church, everybody welcome. Lesbian, I don't care who you are. You could just sell your body to 100 men and you came into my church and say you want to testify. I'm going to give you the mic to testify. Some of y'all ain't going to do it because your mic is your heaven. Not everybody was called to preach and to lead a flock. Because someone can't even lead no one yard. Someone can't even lead no one private area. But no one bleed flock. Anyway, guys, I don't know the things that already. Big and bold, Cheryl Rose Green. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Never a Dull Moment with Cheryl. And while you're at it, turn your post notification bell so you'll be notified when a girl like me drop a new video. Peace out.